one world order. Remember those words, one world order. minutes now to the top of the hour and to politics republican ron paul is winding down his campaign but on his website he says there is still something to fight for you can't say he's in the top tier of the presidential candidates a republican ron paul it may have gotten a lot of uh, contributions from the extraterrestrial vote but uh, uh, ron paul is not going to be the president but he's certainly uh, stirring a lot of interest among the uh, the libertarians why haven't you officially dropped out of this race yet Still in the race, sort of. <laughs> Another question about electability. Do you have any, sir? He's raising money like he is a front runner. The congressman from Texas bringing in more than $4 million over the Internet in just 24 hours. Well, if these are the same online Ron Paul supporters that had us all talking about the money bombs that they did at the end of last year, raising millions of dollars online in a day. Well, now looks like we're in the middle of a book bomb. Uh, the, for the third day now, The Revolution, a manifesto, Ron Paul's new book is at number one at Amazon.com on their bestseller list. From our text messaging poll, as of now, in first place, Ron Paul, 39%. Uh, uh, Bob, in second Alan place, Lehman. Mike Huckabee, they're getting 19% of the vote. Can I say something? And, uh, they're you want stack, to say something? Yeah, they're stacking the deck. That's the way they have in every campaign. He did not win this debate, period. Right, well, let's, I'm just telling you what the results said. Well, Instead of us fading away with less and less, we seem to get more and more enthusiasm for what we've been doing. Well, Congressman Ron Paul joins me now from his office in Clute, Texas. Good to see you, Congressman. The first, let's get you to straighten this out. Let's hear it straight from the horse's <laughs> mouth because people are you know, trying to analyze this and look at it from a dozen different ways and aren't quite sure. Is the campaign over or not? No, no, it's not over. It's certainly winding down. There are a lot less... Uh, uh, primaries left, Super Tuesday has passed, and uh, McCain has the nominal number. But, uh, you know, if you're in a campaign for only gaining power, that is one thing. If you're in a campaign to influence ideas in the future of the country, you know, the campaign is never over. Uh, my name is Ruben Pacheco. I am um, a second year student at the University of New Mexico. I've started the Ron Paul Constitutional Club on, on campus. When I first set up the Ron Paul Constitutional Club, I had the intention of just uh, having space allowed to us, to our meetup group. Most of the time, we just had a, a handful of active members that were setting up tables, distributing information, talking to people, um, basically just politicking with the university students. The freedom movement has been, it's, I think it's, you know, it's our calling, like, this is the movement of our times, and I felt like it was my obligation to help spread the message of freedom at the university. Becoming a really big organization, when I, when I joined the organization back in early January, there were only 10 members, and now we're, I'm proud to say we have 85 members in our group. So, it, in, a, in a hugely liberal campus, I didn't really expect this, but we threw up the, you know, the Ron Paul flag and people started flocking in. There's a bill that just passed in the House that a lot of us don't know about. It's H.R. 1955. Look it up. H.R. 1955 is a thought crimes bill. What we're doing right here on this campus, if it passes the Senate, we could be arrested. You get together and we talk about something the government doesn't like, they can arrest you. We need somebody who stands for the Constitution and for our rights. Your rights are being taken away right before your eyes. If HR 1955 passes the Senate, well, you'll find out.
start spreading the news. It's time for a change. We'll make a brand new start of it. Ron Paul, Ron Paul. It's your right to choose. It's the American way. The constitutional heart of it. Ron Paul, Ron Paul. I want to wake up in a country that doesn't sleep to fight for our civil rights and liberty. These little man blues are melting away. We'll make a brand new start of it. Ron Paul. The Constitution Ron defends Paul. liberty. The purpose of the Constitution if is to protect liberty. It is to control the government, not to control the people. This man, it's up to us to vote Ron Paul. Ron Paul, I want to wake up in a country that's truly free to find our President Paul in the White House. This country is in a revolution. They're sick and tired of what they're getting, and I happen to be lucky enough to be part of it. He's neocon blue. Are melting away. We'll make a brand new start of it. Vote Ron Paul. And uh, let's show we care and shout it. It's up to us to vote one point.